All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, it's finally time for us to take a look at the Dokkan V-Jump scan for this month. And this one is a little bit more interesting than normal because we have the 7th anniversary starting on JP very soon. And luckily, this scan did show us a few things about the upcoming celebration. Now, unfortunately, it was nothing huge. It's not like... They revealed the uh, upcoming summonable LRs or anything like that. But what we did learn was that the free to play login unit for this year is going to be a base Goku and base Vegeta, with Goku holding the seven star Dragon Ball, obviously, to represent the seventh anniversary. And for my Vegeta fans out there, you might be a little bit upset because obviously, this is a Vegeta shaft since. Uh, you know, Vegeta finally makes it into the free-to-play card, but he doesn't get to hold the Dragon Ball. I feel like they should both be holding it. Like, maybe at least Vegeta should have, like, a finger on the ball or something like that. But, you know, at the end of the day, Goku is the main character, so I guess he gets to uh, hold the balls. Um, so yeah, that is the free-to-play unit for this year. You will get one copy upon login, and then, just like last year with the UI Goku, You'll be able to get enough copies to uh, Super Attack 10 as well as rainbow them over the course of the celebration through missions. So uh, that's the first thing. And then number two, we learned that there's going to be a brand new event. Um, I think the text is over here, but it could also be this text right here. Now, obviously, I can't read Japanese, so I'm just going off the translations that we got from uh, Koresh as well as a few other people, so shout out to those guys, and also shout out to DBS Hype on uh, Twitter for providing us with this scan. So the second piece of information we learned is that there's going to be a brand new challenging event coming for the anniversary with seven stages, a unique boss for each stage, and uh, two of the stages will be released at the time the anniversary starts, and then the remaining stages will be released over the course of the celebration. I'm assuming in parts 2 and uh, 3 of the anniversary. And even though we don't have many details about this event, I think it's going to be something very similar to the uh, God of Destruction event from last year in terms of both the style of gameplay as well as the level of difficulty, which means that for some people it's not going to be too bad, while for other people like newer players it's going to be almost impossible. And uh, lastly, we have the announcement of a 77 unit ticket banner as well as a stone banner. Just like previous years for the 6th anniversary, we had a 66 unit banner. For the 5th anniversary, we had a 55 unit banner. So of course, for the 7th anniversary, we have a 77 unit banner with a guaranteed LR or possibly multiple guaranteed LRs because apparently there's something on this page talking about the fact that the more tickets you get, the more tickets you use, the more guaranteed LRs you will be receiving. So what I'm thinking is that this year, you don't have to collect all the tickets to, uh, to your summon because before you needed every single ticket from all the missions to, uh, to that multi, right? Maybe this year for the ticket multi, the free to play multi, you can still do a multi without collecting every single one of the 77 tickets, but you need to at least hit a certain uh, ticket threshold to get a guaranteed LR. And then if you get all the tickets, all 77, then you get multiple guaranteed LRs or something to that effect. I'm not 100% sure how it's gonna work, but in my mind, maybe it's like, if you have 55 tickets, you get one guaranteed LR. If you have 66, you get two. And then if you have 77, you get three or maybe just two guaranteed LRs for all the tickets or something like that. I don't really know. I don't really know. I'm just brainstorming right now. It would be nice if the 77 ticket summon gave you at least two guaranteed LRs, kind of like the uh, new step up banner. It seems like multiple guaranteed LRs could be a theme going forward. So. Uh, yeah, possibly multiple guaranteed LRs this year. And as you guys can see, they're showing two of the LRs that will be on the banner. The LR Godku and Hit, as well as the uh, Exchange LR Goku and Vegeta. 
and I'm assuming that means these will be the two newest LRs available on the banner. And of course, all of the non Dokkan Fest LRs that came out before them will be there as well. So uh, yeah, 77 unit multi, as well as the stone version, which I'm assuming will be 250 stones, just like last year. Although, I could see them increasing the price to 300 stones this year. It's possible. Um, it would suck. I hope it's 250 still, but uh, you know, this is Bandai we're talking about, so we'll have to see. Hopefully it's 250 stones for 77 uh, units with at least two guaranteed LRs, hopefully. And uh, I believe that is everything that was revealed on this V-Jump leak. As I said before, it's nothing major. Um, everybody knew about this Goku and Vegeta because we saw the app icon already. And uh, this new challenge event, while cool, is also something that a lot of us probably expected. And uh, finally, we have the guaranteed LR banner, the 77 unit summon, which has become kind of a trend for the past couple of years. So this is not really a surprise either. So the point I'm trying to make is that this scan didn't really reveal anything that we didn't see coming, but it's still nice to have some confirmation, right? And uh, guys, yeah, the seventh anniversary is dropping very soon. I'm sure we'll start seeing at least some leaks from the guys on Twitter, like I seriously, Team Dokener, and so on and so forth. And of course, I'll make sure to keep you guys posted about all that stuff as soon as it comes out. But uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel. If you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.